All right, welcome everyone to another Tuesday review, and this time we have a game for you called Tower Hunter Urza's Trial. Let's get into the game. This game can be played two ways, and I've got one game for each one. Uh, it has a roguelike or easy mode. Now, this game has different weapons, different uh, ways they attack. Each weapon attacks differently, so you can find whatever works for you. You start with a different weapon each time you die, or each time you start a new game. So it does have elements that really lend to a roguelike, but I'm going to play on easy mode right now. So this game right here, the different weapons you can you can play with and attack with and the different ways they attack. And the fact that you start out with a different weapon each time really lends to that roguelike kind of feature. You do have some different level layouts that does change a little bit on different playthroughs, so that's a thing as well. Um, you have ways to upgrade you these gems you can use to either buy new gear or upgrade your character. And you can upgrade the effect of gear, how proficient you are with gear. Like, yeah, those uh, hexagon things underneath. Those will improve your character. They'll actually increase your attack stats, increase your health, do different things to have different effects. And you can in increase the effect of those with upgrades, or you can buy better ones and equip those. So if you're on roguelike mode, you want to kind of be very uh, sparing about what are very careful about how you spend your gems because you can either upgrade or you can choose to buy new gear you're not gonna have enough gems to do both because you can't go back and forth you can't keep any progress because it is roguelike mode easy mode's different you can go back and forth you can play previous levels you can defeat monsters again earn gems get new upgrades and get a much more powerful and a much better character it's definitely, in my opinion, the more fun way to play. And the reason is because this game, despite the fact you have so many weapons, weapons have like special abilities to push down forward attack, and you have this sort of like katana finisher, this very like anime-ish style finisher, where you just kind of, like, screen goes black, you see a slash and the enemy's dead, like that kind of level of finisher. And each weapon has a different one, you have different play styles, you can, uh, customize your character's look even at the beds. Customize your character as far as skills and upgrades, as far as what weapon you use and how you play. Those are all kind of cool features. Except the game isn't quite polished. As you play the game, you get this feel. The game is lacking a certain amount of polish to it that really lends to a good roguelike game. A good roguelike is going to depend on your skill to beat the game, not cheap moves, basically. If that makes any sense. And this game, just, it seems like there's something about it just not quite done. Like, it's just not quite ready to be released as a full game, in a, as a roguelike. As a Metroidvania on the easy mode, it's actually kind of enjoyable, I have to admit. You can actually have a lot of fun with this game on that mode. And that's probably where I've had the most fun on this game is playing that mode. As a roguelike, it's okay. I mean, you might be able to get a little bit of enjoyment out of this, but really I recommend if you play this, play it only on the easy mode. And there's all kinds of cool things that lend itself to Metroidvania with these upgrades. With so you start with like being able to cling onto walls and do wall jumps, but then you get like a double jump and then eventually a triple jump. All these kind of ways to upgrade your character, make your character more powerful, go back and forth and grind, unlock areas that have new treasure and new abilities, all that kind of stuff that really, really makes for a really good game, for a really fun game. But again, the polish isn't there. You want a game that is actually polished. And it feels like wasted potential in this game. The game could have been better. It could have been so much more than what it actually was. But unfortunately, it's just, it's lacking. It's lacking that, that certain 
polish. If you ask if the game is fun, I have to say yes and no. Yes and no, it, it, it's fun if you play it as a regular Metroidvania type game. It's not fun. It's not fun if you play this as a roguelike game. It's, again, just going to be more frustrating than a good time. I think as a roguelike, it's about as far as I've gotten and then just got like super annoyed with how the game was. And that's what you get with a game that doesn't have that polish to be a roguelike. So, yeah, it definitely, I think, is... It has potential. And I think if the developer were to take this and to kind of polish some game mechanics a bit more, this could be a really fun roguelike. It seems like the game likes to put you in situations that are just really difficult to win. Like, it's really an unwinnable situation. Like, you're gonna take damage no matter what you do, no matter how you play the game, and there's no way to avoid that. So yeah, definitely as a Metroidvania, I would say play this game and have a fun time. Um, for the fact that you can't play this game or really enjoy it in both game modes, I'd say get it on sale. Maybe try the Android or iOS version. Maybe that, that's a bit cheaper and maybe it plays a little better, a little different. The PC version, yeah, wait for sale and only play it as a Metroidvania. I'm hoping the next game they have coming out, which is a sequel to this game, improves on what this game is kind of lacking in, gives it that polish that it needs. I'm really hoping that's the case, because this game, it seems like it has the potential to be a decent game with two game modes, but really only one game mode is all that effective. Hope you enjoyed this review. Like I said, this game, there's potential in it. It just needs a bit more. But yeah, try it out for yourself. I'll put a link down below if you want to play the game. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you'd like to. You don't have to. I appreciate you just watching this video. I appreciate the views. But if you want to, feel free to subscribe. I have more content coming out. Try to get a review every week on Tuesday. That's why we call it Tuesday Reviews. If you want to, you can like the video. You don't have to. You can dislike the video if you didn't like it. That's cool, too. I just appreciate you very much. Leave a comment if you want to. I, re I reply to any comments, but again, no pressure. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. And I just appreciate you all for being here. So thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Until then, stay awesome, and we'll see you then.